Good morning, good morning and very good morning. Welcome to the show. Welcome to Viewgraphy. Well, today's video is a user request video and uh, what was the request? How it happened? Well, I put a status on Facebook on our uh, Viewgraphy group uh, on Facebook and that was the status as you can see. Uh, and in the comments, one of our uh, subscriber, uh, fellow photographer, he put this comment and asked me that there should, there should be a video about it. And I was like, okay, sure, why not? So today's video is dedicated to Andy. Uh, thank you, Andy, for uh, writing down uh, or for asking me or requesting me to make this video. Okay, I am purposely making this video in black and white. All right, there, there is a reason for it. Uh, it's just that because today video is all about kind of a, it's more about lecture, it's more about theory, not anything, not animation or anything which you usually see in my video and you will get in the end of the video why um, I ha I purposely make this video in black and white, okay, so just, just stay with me. So, consistency. That, that's the whole idea of today's video. And no matter what you do in your life, even you're a teacher, lawyer, doctor, engineer, cook, you know, chef or driver, mechanic, doctor, surgeon, whatever. Whatever you do in your life, if you are not consistent in your effort, you are not at the top of your game. Or you are not producing the best result and it applies in every aspect of life. Let me tell you the example uh, and from, of course I'm going to give you the example from the photography perspective. What, what's the difference between, you know, everybody having a camera these days, everybody, all right. It doesn't matter if it's a mobile camera, uh, if it's a DSLR, if it's a mirrorless, it's a medium format, crop sensor, full frame or micro four third, it doesn't matter whatever the camera you use, but and, and you shoot daily, daily you shoot hundreds of frames, but your work is not good enough. Why? Now you're going to say, well, I am a hardcore, passionate photographer and you call me 2 a.m. or 3 a.m. in the night and I will stand up, uh, you know, and I'll go out for shooting something, even if you're going to call me and blah, blah, blah. Nah, that, that's not gonna cut. Trust me, that's not gonna cut. It's not enough. It's really not enough. I'm going to give you two examples and this will give you enough idea why uh, the consistency uh, is matters in the end of the day. Not your gear, not your mm, latest mirrorless, best eye autofocus cameras, or the best sharp lenses, uh, f1.2s, none of them matter if you are not consistent in your effort. Consistency is the key. As long as you are consistent in any aspect of your life, whatever you do, you will get at the top of your game. But if you're not consistent, uh, you, uh, it's not enough for you to produce the best result. I'm going to give you two examples. Okay, first of all, there is uh, one gentleman from Pakistan. His name is Kamran Salim. Kamran Salim. You can Google about his work, and uh, he's the top wildlife photographer in Pakistan. Top wildlife photographer. He came actually uh, last year when I was visiting my home country. Uh, he was in Dubai, and he he messaged me. Kamran Salim, the top wildlife photographer message me like i am mr nobody like i am literally nobody and not that movie nobody okay don't don't mix that from movie nobody i'm i'm just talking in general so he messaged me and he said i want to meet you and i'm in dubai and i was like damn i said come on by i am in pakistan i'm traveling after two days back to dubai can you wait for me two days and he was like sure okay no problem 
but I have another issue, uh, and I, I had I knew that when when I, when I will be back, my car battery will be down. I I know that because it will be standing for for a month, so it, it will be down for. A, and I was like, shoot, what to do now? So, uh, what I did, uh, uh, I asked my brother to arrange the car battery and drop it at my doorstep so when I will land I will immediately take that new car battery put it in my car and next day I will meet Kamran Bhai because that's how he arranged I said I will be landing in the night and next morning I will meet you that's what I said to Kamran Sami and uh, he was like okay fine yeah yeah because I had, because he was also traveling the very next day so we have only one day to meet so I'm landing the night before we meet I supposed to meet on on the on next on the same day morning and next day you will be flying back so I have only one day and I know that my car battery will be finished so I am not going to I have to arrange the transportation so I asked my brother uh, to arrange the car battery for me and drop at my doorstep which he did so I landed at 12 midnight by 2 a.m. I already changed my car battery and uh, that's it and the next morning I went to meet Kamran Salim but Kamran Salim who was supposed to meet me uh, he was like I am I said why don't you come to Dubai because he was staying somewhere in Sharjah he said why don't you come to Dubai and meet me and he was like it's not in my route because I have to go and shoot some gazelles uh, so, sorry not gazelles some oryx Arabian oryx uh, it's not in our route is there any way you can come and meet me at X or Z place? And I was like, I don't want to miss a chance. And said, wherever you going to tell me, I'm going to meet you. So anyway, we, we end up agreeing to meet in a mall, which was a common place for him to go to stop, meet me, and then go to shoot Oryx. And I supposed to come from somewhere else, meet me in the same mall, uh, and then leave. So finally, because he was also so much keen to meet me and I was looking forward for that moment for a very long time that we both ended up deciding to meet at a place which was totally out of our roots. But we end up meeting with each other and we have a meeting of 25 minutes. Now why I am saying all this to you? Because you will get the idea, you will get the idea. And so we had a meeting of 25 minutes. In that 25 minutes, uh, we, we met at Starbucks, we ordered coffee and we started talking with each other. Uh, it was the first time I was meeting with him, so my, my the, the, the happiness was all over my face because I'm, I was I'm meeting with Kamran Salim, Kamran Salim, the top wildlife photographer from Pakistan. It's, it's an honor, it's a privilege. So, while I was talking with him, and I was like, obviously, when you meet with, with a, you know, with a top professional uh, uh, wildlife photographer, you're going to ask the question, how you do this, how you do that, how you hunt, or how you, what lens you used, and what gear, blah, blah. I didn't talk about the gear at all. I did not talk about the gear at all with him. All I was talking with him about the animals, and how, what is approach towards the animal. And this is what he said. He said, in order to capture any bird or any animal, he studied that animal for one year minimum. Now imagine, put yourself in Kamran Salim's shoes and imagine if you want to shoot a specific bird, a specific bird, you have to go one year just every morning or every evening you are going driving all the way for one hour two hour drive doesn't matter just to go and study that animal for one year one straight year or maybe more in some cases he said up to two years how consistent you gonna be to do that that's my question to you guys. Now after what he did effort, 
He came up with the results which are groundbreaking, astonishing. It's so mind-boggling that you scratch your head and think, how the hell he get this shot? You know, in the Petapixel last year, I believe, last year, I don't know what was the, there was an article about um, Snow Leopard, that there is one female photographer who basically fake a Photoshop Snow Leopard into her images. Very famous article. And she said that, well, everybody does Photoshop. If I did, what's wrong with that? That was her justification. Kamran Sami shot the same snow leopard while he was hunting. And how he did that, he explained in one of the interview that how consistent he was chasing that snow leopard and he was waiting for that snow leopard to hunt an animal and that animal fell from the cliff and he died uh, while he was trying to survive and the snow leopard just somehow managed to get his prey which he pushed from the cliff to fell and he just approached to that animal to died animal to start eating it and on the and there was a small lake and Cameron Sully was on the other side of the lake and he was just waiting there for that moment and that that gaze that he get from the snow leopard that he uh, that snow leopard was approaching to his uh, to its to its uh, prey and at the same time it's looking at Cameron Sully you know lens at the same time That's mind-boggling. I'm just saying this whole story to tell you how consistent he was. He was just waiting there for more than 10 days, for I believe two weeks, just to get this one shot. Just one shot. And while other people in the world are photoshopping the snow leopard, taken from far and with some other mountain, merge them together into Photoshop. So that's the basic difference between other photographers and Kamran Sali. So that's just, I'm giving you this one example. Why consistency will going to make you better. Another example that uh, I'm going to put myself as a second example. Why? You see a lot of sunrise, sunset shots from me. All right. A lot of, a lot. I love to capture sunrise and sunsets, <clears throat> but it's not that easy. Sunrise uh, happening in UAE in Fujairah, which is one and a half hour, one and a half hour drive. All right, and sunset is happening in Sharjah or Dubai, which is like half an hour drive from me. So <clears throat> once in a week, I drive daily, no, not daily, once in a week, I drive all the way to Fujairah, one and a half hour in one, one, in one direction, capture the sunrise which is happening like five minutes, less than five minutes, but you have to be there before sunrise and you have to capture pre-dawn light, all right, and you capture that for five minutes because sun started rising and there was some clouds and reflection boats are going all the way you see all the all, lots of them ships are going and i'm going to put examples on on the screen so you you will understand what i'm trying to say and all those boats are going or ships are moving sun is rising and you know and silhouettes and blah 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 so all these shots i never get all these shots in one attempt Every shot is a result of that one single attempt that I go to Fujairah. So one and a half hour I drive, I shot for five minutes and one and a half hour drive, come back. So I spend three hours on the road just for five hours of photography. And I do this thing every week. Every week, sometimes twice a week. I am crazy? Yes, I am. Because 
for me i love to capture this thing that's my consistency in my effort that's why i am able to have these shots which you are seeing on the screen see even if you had all these shots most of them are from 40 year old lens some of them are with t3s which is 14 year old dslr some of the shots are like 40 42 year old lens some of them are with telephoto lens 200 to 500 for me it doesn't matter for me the moment is everything i just need a tool to capture it there was this shot and um, it was taken from the Z9 with uh, 400, 4.5 VRS. And uh, when I put on the one of the Facebook group, actually not Facebook group, Twitter. And the guy just uh, basically replied to uh, this. And he said, why did you spend 9,000 euros uh, of uh, just for this shop? Where the sun is dead in the center and 9,000 euros just for this shot and I was like when I explained him that uh, uh, dear I do peer review and I earn from it all right uh, I do peer review uh, which from the phone icon and uh, that's how I I didn't explain him much but uh, an icon made least they are very kind home with me and they gave me the gifts to do the review I didn't say it to him, but I'm sharing this with you guys. So I got the gear and I review and that's how I live. So that's what I do. And, uh, and then I shared with him that I captured the similar sunrise and sunset shots with $100 lens, which is less than $100. So I gave him my Flickr profile link and then he was liking my post. Lord, shall I say loving my post because he he didn't know that so that that was one of the funny incident but I thought to share with you so here is the thing even you have the best gear even you have the best lens the best camera but if you are not consistent you are you are not putting much of your effort I know most of gonna most of you are gonna say well, we are very passionate. We can do this. We can do that. Trust me, you are. No, you know, in the beginning of the photography career, everybody is passionate. But as the time goes on, the passion line goes down like that. It's not easy. It's not easy. I saw many guys. Many guys started with passion and they approached me well Barbara, Barbara, we, Barbara we, we love your photos and we, I, we need you to give, tell us the best lens or best camera and blah 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 and after a year or two where are your photos well we are busy we have too much work we can't concentrate wife's issue or family issue we don't have time blah blah everybody then ultimately got excuse the point is, regardless of their passion, they were not consistent. They were just, you know, it was the instant, you know, rise in the passion and drop down. It's just like you're boiling water or boiling milk <laughs> or on the stove. It boils up and settles within seconds. So that's what it is. Consistency is the key. Your consistent work will tell how great your images are. If your are posting back to back average images, it means that you are not putting effort. You are just posting images. And if you are putting back to back better image every next time, it means that you are so consistent in your work that ultimately your work starts improving. Consistency defines how good you are 
or how much effort you are putting. It's not everybody's game. I don't like to do many things and like all those things what people love to do. But I don't like because I'm not consistent. I don't feel like doing those things. And now definitely you want to know what are those things? Well, they are long list. <laughs> long list. Okay, for, for example, ironing the, ironing the shirt, I just hate it. I don't feel like hey, every time you wear the new shirt, you know, taking out the cloth that you have to iron. I was like, come on, man. It's so boring. But for some people, oh, man, how come you not iron your clothes? I'm just giving you one example. Hypothetically speaking. So that that's the thing. Consistency is the key. Your consistent work defines how good you are. If your work is average, it means that you are not putting effort. But you are, yes, you are considered, you know, there are many photographers who are putting up their images on Facebook and I never like their images because I know them, okay? Until unless they do something really extraordinary, out of the way. Most of the time, their images are average, average. But sometimes I see out of nowhere an unknown photographer or uh, somebody who was whose work was average suddenly capture something extraordinary. So I immediately compliment that person. Why? Because that person tried to push his or her boundaries. His work was average. His work was consistent. All right, like constant average work but he pushes to go to the next level and that's where I, I appreciate his, uh, his or her effort that at least they are trying to improve they are but sometimes if they do their effort once in a while or once in a blue moon and they go back to their average work it means that khalas it was like it was just like, uh, you know, once in a blue moon shot. It was not a result of a consistent effort. Because if it was a consistent effort, so after that shot, they should supposed to capture more good shots, which they were not able to do. So it's just like there was an average work, there's a good work spike cape, and then there was average work. So that spike is just... Anom anomaly is just nothing but if you are having one good work then spike then one good work spike then another good work spike another good work spike another good work spike so it means that on average you are having a better consistent effort on average at least you are trying to push your boundaries to the next level. You are putting efforts. So again, consistency brings result. You have to be consistent. Photography is all about consistency in your work. It's not just that one spike. It's the bunch of spike every single time that you are doing which results on an average of a one big curve which shows how good you are so consistency is the key from waking up in the morning taking out your camera going into the field even though you are dead tired you don't know what to shoot but still you are going out because you are expecting that I might come up with something this is called consistency. I do this thing every single time. Every single time. I have no clue what I am going to capture today. I really have no clue. But I will go out and try to capture something. Or somebody. Or sunset. Or sunrise. Yesterday I missed a shot. I was too quick to leave the place. I missed it. 
because I was not patch, like patiently waiting. My mistake. It was a very beautiful sunset yesterday and I missed it. I was not consistent in waiting yesterday, which cost me a shot. So that's it. I'm going to wrap up this video now. I hope you got the idea what consistency means in photography, how much is going to impact your work. And trust me, if you are consistent in doing any kind of photography that you do, make sure you are able to produce better results every single time. Don't post your work just for the sake of posting it because everybody does that and you have to make yourself feel present among them by posting your average work don't do that don't do that it's better to wait for one good shot rather than posting 10 average shots not gonna cut it's not going to helpful I hope you like this video and you get the idea what I'm trying to say. Now relate that idea with this monochrome because it's a part, it's a, it's a part of psychology that I'm trying to put in this video and uh, you will get, you will feel the idea, the overall atmosphere in this video. You will feel what I'm trying to say. I'll see you guys in future with some new content. Till then, take care.